1944, Nazi Germany has spread its power over a large part of Europe. Poland and France quickly surrendered against the effectiveness of the Blitzkrieg. Only England and the Soviet Union succeeded to stop their advance. Germany's high command, fearing an Allied invasion from the Atlantic, gave orders to reinforce European coasts. But the Allies plan an ambitious offensive, a massive landing of troops over the French coast. The objective, liberate Paris and penetrate German territory to reach Berlin and finish off the Third Reich. Its strategy starts with Operation Fortitude, an ingenious maneuver to deceive the enemy, making him believe the invasion will come from Calais. Germans fall into the trap, and by orders of Hitler himself, focus the largest part of their troops into that spot. On June 6th, through Operation Overlord, led by General Eisenhower, the landing of troops is performed on a different area, the beaches of Normandy. On D-Day, several Allied divisions fight fiercely against the German defenses. By the end of July, one million American, British, and Canadian soldiers are already on French territory. General George Smith Patton, who led the successful Operation Fortitude, assumes the command of the 3rd U.S. Army. Its first task is to participate in Operation Cobra, designed to break for good the German defenses and penetrate into their lines. After the success of Operation Cobra, General Patton and his men now have their goal set in the liberation of Paris, then to invade Germany and reach Berlin, the heart of Nazism. The result of this campaign, and thus the outcome of war in Europe, will depend on his strategic vision and the valor of his men. The moment of truth has come.